What's up, guys? It's your boy, Trump to the Gaming Hair, back from over with Michael PGA Tour. And it's time for us to have a second round of the Northeast Invitational at the Cliffs at Lighthouse Point. Here we go. Let's get started. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today, it's live second round coverage of the Northeast Invitational. New course to most of the golfers on tour, this challenging layout just opened in 2015. Today, we're along the east coast of Maine. Rich Lerner with Frank Nabila will be calling all the action from the cliffs at Lighthouse Point. Another great design from uh, Brand Patel, and they really threw the boat out here. Some uh, excellent choice of holes, and uh, you're going to see the, the changes in elevation. You get this on a windy right. day, and of course, 7,700 right. yards will play even off. longer than that. A nice calm day, though, Rich, yeah, and you yeah. really can shoot a good score out here. Okay, let's get started. Right, what a way to start. This is all you over. want, a par four of nearly 500 yards. And a 90-degree dogleg. Uh, there's a bunker okay, in the distance, go. Rich. That's almost your run-out area. Quick, then shut up. Let's take a shot. Almost full strength there. Oh, this looks good. Certainly is. That's Nicely good, right? played the shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Good job. The second shot now to the par four. Okay, here we go. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Beautiful. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. That was awesome. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. That's not how you picture it, Frank, when you step on that first tee. Ah, I missed that. No, you'd, uh, you'd like to go back to that first tee right now and start again. You don't want to miss an easy shot like that, but I did. Hopefully you remember. Take the par and move on. Well, not in contention, but in for par. And I may not be in contention, but at least I'm doing okay. And the fact that Rory is in contention makes me happy. Now on the tee at the par three second, it's a long one. This will require a pure strike. The fact that Rory isn't in contention makes me happy. You know, let's show you where Rory is on the leaderboard. He's not even in the listing right now. That tells us something. Gotta get a good shot here. Here it goes. Alright. Spin back wall. Spin back. Okay, a little too much on it. That one was running so hot. That's okay, though. Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, and you think, you just ride a par down at the end of the end of the hole, don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. And Frank, yeah, that steady sure. play continues. Ah, Rock there, solid, excellent one. approach shot. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Okay, knock it in. I mean, we're obviously not going to win the uh, and he the, makes uh, it for FedEx Park. championship, but having consistent tournament play will definitely help us when we go into our second year. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo back with you at the third hole here. At the course, and this is a hole that offers up a chance right. to put a red number on the board, Frank. Take a swing. It certainly does. A good drive finding this very narrow fairway will certainly give you the opportunity to reach the green in two. Straight a little oh, left, either with the drive or the second, and all of a sudden you might realize okay, this the left, 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 left. There you go. Mmm. What a drive. Just tattooed that. I didn't see what the yardage was, so you guys in the comments have to let me know. And from the fairway for his second shot here. Okay, we're gonna have to put a little spin on it, but we can do that if we need to. Cut it a little short, just to be safe. 
Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. Yeah, it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Into That's the fine. thick stuff. That's a difficult lie. That's fine, I'd rather shoot it All sitting anyway. down here in the rough, he's digging in. Alright, let's see if I can't get it out of here. Dig it out of the rough. Potential brick shot. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, that's what the great ones do. From the rough, they use their skill and their strength to get it out and get it close. Shouldn't be a problem here. Should be easy birdie here. Get us to one under. Yes! Birdie! All right. Nice litter. Well, at last, a birdie. About time we got one of those. And immediately puts it in the, in the top three. Back over now to the fourth. Last Frank, we're early round. in the second round. What have you seen so far? I've seen a lot that uh, that can be improved on too, but there's enough good there. That's the main thing. You know, the scorecard doesn't always reflect how you're playing. Man, what a shot but a little bit of basics out there. Fairways, greens, maybe knock a couple of putts in. All of a sudden that scorecard looks good. 315. Second shot. Good look at the green. We'll close to that flag if we can. Cut it down just a little bit. Playing this par four still not on the green after that second shot. That's, That's still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with par. Oh, so close. And he's made the green. Literally just needed a, about so an inch in to the left the and I would have had it. Damn. Alright, I'll take it. I will take that. Good that third round. Good second round. Pot. And with that, we bid you farewell from the shores of Maine for EA Sports. Alongside Frank Novolo, I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time. But just the level 70, not bad. Got some equipment items, apparel items, and an attribute bonus. We start to need 75. Nice. See all that practice, all that good stuff, boost ourselves up even better. Let's see what our simulating based on attributes says. Okay, still 100, that's fine. Rory is nowhere near the top, we are okay with that. Let's see where round 3 will set us up. Okay, 223rd place on the 14th hole. Back for the third round in just a moment, guys. Okay, so while we're here, we're going to check out the attribute bonus that we earned. Let's see what we got. The new thing is... Gimme. Okay, that would increase his energy 6, but I still take the hit a little bit. I'm not too crazy about that. Doing all this would actually increase this, but I'd rather, I'd rather boost ourselves to 75 than, to the next mark than after a way. So, let's see what our new equipment is. Okay, nothing new here. That's fine. So, we'll just move on to the third round. Northeast Invitational third round, here we come. Hopefully we won't have any trouble with it. We're two under, so we're slowly making our way up the leaderboard. Good for me. Once we get done with this, we'll probably go back to the uh, EA Sports, in association with the PGA stuff, Tour, probably. proudly presents the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs. It's third round coverage of the Northeast Invitational. All right, Always a one. pleasure to be along the coast of Maine, Lighthouse Point to be exact. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nobolo for EA Sports. This episode Frank, is a bit of an anomaly. This sure to be I another exciting first, day of golf out round, there. The what are the challenges the facing our players today? The, first, the length of the golf one. course for a start, Rich, down. this golf course just under 7,700 so yards. It's one of the longest ones you'll play. And of course the cliffs, that's why it's called this, they right, certainly are in play. Up. There is one double green out there, that's the 10th and the 13th hole, they share the same green. Lots of great design features and you've got it on a prime day. 
in great condition. So enjoy the round and make sure you feast on the vistas as well. Here we go. Looks like it's heading straight for the green. Just gotta slow it down oh, a bit. Solid strike right in the heart of the green. Ooh, into the sand. Well, it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Yeah, I'm not happy about that, but I can now from the bunker. There. Yeah, just a little splash out on this par three. So Frank, oh, out of the bunker and back into play. Yeah, the late Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf is always the next one. Well, by getting the ball back in play, he just made that a little easier. There we go. Ooh, what, what a, a shot save. right there. Beautifully done. That might have saved the day right there. That could have been something now bad, but managed to save it. Over another body of water, Frank, you could make some big numbers on this golf course. I would think if you walk out of here today having shot under par, you have to be really happy. Certainly is big boy golf playing around uh, the cliffs at Lighthouse yeah, Point, Rich. This is another example here at this beefy par three, 240 yards. Uh, you can see Lake Zimmer protects the front of this green and to the right. It's obviously where they get all the irrigation water from. But uh, there's enough green left of the flag here. That's really what you've got to be looking at, that front left section. So we can't splash it on the green in front of the thing. Cut a little short, but I can easily spin it the way I want. That works. No problems there. Really good approach shot. A little now, short of the green, but a little, little short of the hole, but I can take a chance at it. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Should be able to get it. Full strength shot. Should be able to nail it in there. And I got it. All right. 19 footer. We nailed it. Three under. That birdie has to be feeling as though. Move it up, baby. Out of it just yet. Move it up. You're not far away from the first page of the leaderboard. A couple more birdies. All Time right. to make a move, the closing stretch here at number 16, par 3, 241 yards. Yeah, we definitely want to shoot this one a little bit less than full strength, but we'll see what we can do here. I don't want to have it that far out of the thing here, so I'm just going to go full, well not really full strength, but we'll see. Here goes. I'm going to cut this one quite a bit short. Hi, towering this is not baseball. hitting in the right direction. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. It's going to be in the rough. Might hit somebody. Uh oh. <laughs> Getting set for this next shot from the rough. What does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because you know that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Not the best lie, but you can work your way out of it, just like I did right there. Well, that's how you play the game, right there. I almost had the birdie from that shot. That would have been crazy if it had gone in. But I'll take an easy par to save myself. How about that to save your day? Workman like Hole, he walks away with a par. Well, Frank, I love this par 517th. Not only is it fun to play, but so if you, can't you get head over the Juniata Crossway Bridge ahead, you can find Brent's Lobster Shack, which is one of the best lobster rolls I have ever had. And you know they specialize in that up here in Maine. But what a hole. Oh, that's fine. 300 plus, I'll take it. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway. Over 300 yards. They say this game Second isn't shot. They say this game isn't as good as the Tiger Woods series, but I'm actually quite enjoying it. So I mean it doesn't have as many um, lights and championships, but I think it's a pretty good game. And again, I'm not really a golf kind of guy, but what do I know? I'm just a player. I'm doing all right for this game. I'll eventually get back to Tiger Woods, PJ Tour 03, don't worry about it. I might do 04 and 05. We'll see. 
Third shot, looking for a good one. A little off in the flag. I'm gonna get it a little closer. It's about 110 away. This is a good looking shot. Mm, just a beautiful approach shot. Wish I could have gotten a little closer, but I'll take that. Getting set now over the putt. Because it's got a little bit of a curve to it. Yeah, give it a try. Ooh, I like that one again. Now, just when you thought they might pick up one, now settle for a par. Just a tap in to finish the hole. That's fine. I'll take a par. I mean, you don't need to birdie everything. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. I don't. I apologize for the message there. Let's take the next shot. Frank, we've made it to the finishing hole. If you're having a good day, you stop and you reflect for just a moment the beauty surrounding you, how well you've played. If it hasn't gone all that well, you're thinking about jumping on the Juniata Crossway bridge off to the left and getting out of Dodge. All right, staying just a good solid tee shot right there, about 280 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Great way to finish off the final approach shot through the birdie opportunity. Far yesterday, now for birdie. Hey, I got it. I didn't think I'd hit that one, but I did. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. You know, this time, that one gets him in the top ten. Good round. Frank, you've been there at so many tournaments around the world. One round to go, a chance to win. What's that feeling like? Oh, this is the fun part, uh, knowing whether or not your body can handle the situation. Um, you've got to push it to the limit. But that's what sport and golf is all about. Trying to do something that you've dreamed of for so long. All right. Heading in the next one. We're actually in fifth place. I'll take that. Let's see where we are for the final round. Tribulating attribute. That's funny. Okay, four under in eighth place on the 14th hole. Start the final round, back in moment. Okay, everybody, final round action. Let's get to it. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today, it's the final round of the Northeast Invitational. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo for EA Sports. And Frank, really, there's nothing quite like the anticipation of a brand new round of golf. Yeah, that's the beauty of this game. You never really know what you're going to shoot when you're standing on that first tee. You don't quite know whether the wind's going to kick up, even if you've got the swing, the swing that you had yesterday. So get on that first tee, some nice full swings. Maybe pick some little conservative targets early on so you got a good feel for the golf Very course strong. and for the feel That's for the way in which you're playing. That brings them to second place after being the first Now to the par 3 14th. It is yeah. 240 yards. What a golf course, Frank. I mean, this tests the best in the world. I'm talking about McElroy and Jordan Spieth and Ricky Fowler. 700-yard par 5s and nearly 600-yard par 4s. This is all you want. It certainly is, and that's why the, the total yardage of this golf course is nearly 7,700 yards. This par 3 just beast 240 yards. One thing you want to do, though, is avoid Lake Zimmer. It's a big body of water to the right. Um, if anything, though, look at the green. It shakes a little to the right, so you can use that left side of the green, which is away from the lake. It's a smart way to play this. 
So coming off the birdie on the previous hole, a chance now for yet another one. And momentum all in his favor. It's a long cut, but I got it. Great start. Wow, I can't believe he found the cup on that one. Clean up on aisle five. Yeah, what, Rick what he did. back at Lighthouse <laughs> Point with Frank Nabolo. We're at the 15th hole. Frank, a relatively short par four, 387 yards. Yeah, finally we get one under 400 yards. A little bit of trouble off the tee to be avoided. Bunker left and that little pot bunker. Bunker a little extra. Deep. Pow! Just amazing what they're able to do with that golf swing. Hit it so far at that size. Not overly big, but man can really move it a long ways. That's an absolute beauty. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Okay, not an eagle, but that very close to the hole. Great look at birdie. I would have gotten an eagle, but I'll definitely take another birdie. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Ah, that was a good-looking putt, just man. not falling right now. You know, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. You go from hitting the long one to missing the short one. That's not fair. That the game's just taunting you, saying, nope, you can't hit that. Oh. Don't have to win every tournament. He makes Finishing top ball. ten in this one is definitely going to be good for me. On the next one. Final par three on the back side. It's the 16th, 241 yards. Time to make a move as we are in the finishing stretch here. When you give the scorecard a cursory look, you might think 240-something yards is a difficult hole, but this plays quite a bit downhill, so it plays more around the 200-yard mark. A fairly generous green, uh, protected by the bunker. I take a little extra power out of my swing. I'm going to get this where I want Uh-oh, this one's going left, Frank. All right. On the fringe there. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for birdie. Didn't give it full strength. Got probably don't need full strength. Okay, didn't make it. Well, Frank, it's our job in. to get excited. You can't. You can't when you leave it short, though. I'm sad. He's making my job hard. <laughs> it's not getting too hard to stay consistent. You don't have to win everything. Oh, good solid stroke there. No sign of nerves on that. You don't have to win every, every tournament. Finishing in the top 10 in this one is just fine. Now at the 17th and Frank a chance to make a birdie. Who knows, with a couple of huge pokes, you could make eagle three. This is a pretty stout hole at a little bit more than 600 yards. It is, especially if that breeze comes off the water under your face. But uh, normally you're protected here because the hills on the left will block that breeze. Buck is all the way down the right side. You can see that. Right, two big hits. He might just reach this par five and two. Birdie, perhaps even eagle on a good day. Frank, this is a way to make golf and easy. Somehow I stayed in the fairway. I can't deep. believe that. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. Let's see if we can pull it into the fairway here. Chance for evil hit. Setting up for an approach shot here. Well, Frank, the wind is really starting to pick up. You've got to fixate on the direction now. If you get the, the direction wrong, and uh, we'll miss time on okay, no it. but it rolls up All perfectly for a Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Nothing's guaranteed in golf, but I'd say this is a pretty guarantee. Oh, 
All right. I thought he had that. Good try. Just didn't quite read watch. the break, Frank. Right. Well, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. I know, you guys probably are going to laugh at me for missing a fuck that easy, but sometimes the bridge just don't go my way. In for par. So we can finish at least 600. Well, at last we're at number 18, and Frank, I have really enjoyed this golf course. And, and now when you see the lighthouse in the distance, uh, it really makes it that much more special. It is. The, the beacon will always take you home. And speaking of home, this finishing hole, it bends to the left. Uh, a good tee shot will somehow find the fairway and just leave you a short iron in. And, of course, uh, you make three here, and then that smile's going to light up like a beacon. Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. Gonna have to put a little extra into this if we want to get anywhere near the flag. Headed for Bunker. So the second That's of the fine. par four can, goes begging, that. and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Safely on the dance floor. Now you hit it a little too hard, but that's okay. And getting ready for the putt. 18 foot straight ahead. I should build a grant from here. Let's see if we can nail it. And we do. So you finished five under. Get in. Yes, good putt. I'll take that first. Frank, we did see some good golf out there today, but others really struggled. Yeah, any competitive Seven. player wants to Seven. win. Uh, we, we don't doubt that, but you know, we know you're not going to win them all. So it's still important for every golfer to continue to gain experience to actually get something out Nine of each and every two, tournament they play. That. And our mid-putting went up. Some of the basic attributes. So we officially finished seventh, I'll take that. Rory finishes second. The top seven in one of the first playoff uh, tournaments, I'll take that. Or top top ten. I didn't win, but I finished quite strong. I will take that. Still second in the FedEx points, so even if we don't uh, you weren't the champion finishing second in our first season. It's pretty impressive. Okay, Douche Dutch Bank Championship. Okay, that'll be our next tournament. So, we will take that on starting in our next episode. I don't know where it's at. It's at uh, TPC Boston. We've actually handled that okay. So, we'll take that in our next episode. So, till next time, it's your boy John City West on and out. Remember, if you like to be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the Determination today. Till next time, peace out, folks.